Start off from the weekend's results, and well, it's just been another great weekend for Liverpool, hasn't it, Joe? They uh, thrashed Southampton by three goals to nil, and you yourself uh, moving the mic there. In case you wondered if that was a monster, it was not the boogeyman. Uh, Joe, how do you feel? Uh, six wins out of six, their best ever start in the Premier League, I believe. Is is this where they are the favourites because of that form, or do you think it's still plenty uh, plenty of early days going on at the moment? Well, obviously, it's it's good that from a Liverpool fan point of view, that the top of the league play great football, but it's very early days yet. I think City are still favourites. Obviously, they're only two points behind Liverpool, if uh, memory serves me correctly. So you would still say that they are the fav- early favourites. But I think if Liverpool can continue in this form for the next couple of months, say we're in this position at Christmas, you could start to look at Liverpool favourites. But at the moment, I think they just need to keep on playing football, take it one game at a time and see where they end up. Uh, Connor, of course, you have always said in the past, Jurgen Klopp is... I mean, I know you respect him as a manager, but I remember you said on this show at the very first started it all uh, back in March, I think it was, where... Be Klopp- careful what you say, because I will correct you if you say I say something I didn't say. Oh, I calm down. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> Klopp, was it Klopp? Was it something like you think Klopp will not succeed at Liverpool? I said Klopp wouldn't win the Premier League title if they continued on with the way that they were doing which at the time was being not aggressive in the transfer window, not going after star-studded players that would change their squad and just simply going after players that would, they could simply put on the bench and bring on every now and then. But, you know, it's completely changed since then. Mm. So I, said, I even said to Joe, you know, if they don't bring in Alisson and if they don't bring in, you know, other people to compete um, in the midfield and start in forward positions, then they're not going to win the title. But, you know, that's changed since then. So, mm. uh, But how do you feel with their progress so far? It's still early days, of course, but we, they're looking the best out there. Form doesn't lie. So, you know, six from six, pretty decent so far. Um, you you have to take into account, really, as to who they faced as well. Um, and, you know, they, they managed to get the results in those departments. It's these next couple of games that are coming up for them now because they've got four really tough games in a row. They've got Chelsea twice, Napoli, and then City uh, in the Premier League. But so this is when they've got to perform. Though, this they? is where we truly see whether or not this rotation works and whether or not it's going to pay off. Obviously, the desired result would be four wins from four. But realistically, you may think going away to Chelsea would be a tough fixture for them and then facing City at home would be a tough fixture for them as well. Um and going away to Napoli because Napoli is a tough team to play against. So it's 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 certainly an interesting time to be a Liverpool fan. But I think uh, you you just got to hold your position at the moment and let's see how they get how they do over these next two weeks really and see see what kind of results they can get from these next couple of games. Uh, Joe, you're of course a steward at Liverpool, so you, you're you're mixed in with the fans. How do the fans feel at the moment? Do you get to speak to them about this? Are they Pumped, or they a bit, you know, got to calm down a bit because there's a reason why you've never won the Premier League. And obviously, you've been close before, but it's all about going a step further. Well, they seem, uh, obviously, they seem quite excited early on, but obviously, it's early days. No one's getting too carried away from what I understand. Uh, but obviously, we're delighted to see the type of football we're playing under Jurgen Klopp and hoping it continues for the season. And if they continue in this way until, let's say, May, you never know. You never know. Uh, but obviously, you, you look at it as a whole, but p- players like Mo Salah haven't really started yet, have they? They haven't got their engines going yet. But luckily, this is... I mean, I've said it before and I've said it again. I look at that Liverpool team with that front three of Mane... Define, from, define what you mean by starting his engine. Well... I think it means, a, like... Sorry, Jamie. So not get lots of gear, really, Liverpool haven't this season. No. They've not had to, though. That's the thing. Against Chelsea and City, they'll have to get out of second gear. They'll have to play at a much higher tempo, a much faster pace. I think Tottenham would, didn't really tr- trouble us too much until the last stages of the game. But I think uh, if we get out of second gear, we would have absolutely dismantled the teams even more than we have done. Mm. Well, I mean, what I was saying was that, you know, you look at the front three of Firmino, Mane and Sal, and I look at them, I mean, maybe some people say the comparison's probably a bit too much, but, you know, Barcelona had Messi, Neymar and Suarez, and they were scoring goals week in, week out, and they won the treble, they won the Champions League, they won the La Liga title, you name it. And, I just look at that and think if they carry on this form, these three, throughout the season, most Salah starts to get in the goals again like he did last season, I think they could they could win both. I don't see why they couldn't win both the Premier League and the Champions League in one season. They've got a better defence now. As you mentioned, Alisson, he's, in, he's straight away a big, big game changer. I just think with Van Dijk as well, it could, it could be their season. 
it could be, but then you have to come into you have to take into other factors as well as to what what the situation is for Liverpool. Um, you know, I, I've mentioned a couple of times uh, over the, on the show over the past couple of months about Liverpool's away form really against big teams. Um, the first big test for them will come this weekend when they go to uh, Chelsea to play them in the league. If they're able to win that game, because to be, to be honest, um, I think a lot of people were entering the season weren't thinking that Tottenham were going to be contending for the title, especially no, after their transfer window. You know, they've got Harry Kane and that, you know, they can put up a fair fight, but you would thought eventually come, you know, March, April, May time, they won't be around that, that, that top, that top, uh, top three, top two pitcher to compete for the title. Um, whereas Chelsea, we've seen, you know, barring last, uh, yesterday when they drew nil-nil against uh, West Ham, um, they've been pretty, pretty good, um, so far this season with the Sari. So, this this weekend will be the true test, and you know if they're able to go to way to Chelsea and pick up a result, you know whether it, whether it be uh, you know see, seeking out the draw and holding that off or getting the win, then you know the 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 chat will start to change and you'll start to see a bit more people coming out towards Liverpool's case because that's always been the problem for them. If you go back to last season, I don't think you picked up a win away from home last season against any of the top six uh, or top it. five would be because you're not including Liverpool. Yeah, you didn't pick up a win away no. from home, did you? No. Um, so that's that's the problem, really, for Liverpool. They got to get over that barrier, I think, because City were, you know, they were they were able to to go to places like Chelsea, for example. Kevin De Bruyne scoring uh, the winner there for them yeah, last yeah. season and picking up the win there. They were able to go to. It was this time last year they did that as well. When they yeah, did Chelsea. Um, and I think that's the main the main factor that really that that Liverpool need to get over in order to cross that eventual line when it comes to May to pick, pick up the Premier League title, and also. Um, it's not to criticise him, because I've already criticised him enough, but <laughs> um, for, for Klopp, it's, uh, it's, getting, it's getting over that, that line as well. Because if you think about it, wh- when, when, was, when was he brought in charge? 2015? 20, October, yeah. 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 October yeah. 2015? October he went to two 8th. finals in that first six months, didn't he? Didn't win any of them. No. Yeah. And he's been to one final since, the Champions League final? Yeah. 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 And I was won that either. So it was a case of him crossing the line, really, in order to get the job done. Because they failed to really do that in the league itself, um, because they've never been close to winning the title under Klopp so far. You're 25 points last season, wasn't it? Behind mm-hmm. City. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I can't remember who, how many points you were behind uh, Chelsea the season before that. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just that case there. Whereas Guardiola, you know, we've, we've seen with City already that he's able to push them beyond the line and even further than that, you know, finishing on 100 points, you know, never been done before in Premier League history. Mm. Um, going over the, the century in goals as well. So it's... It's it's that separation as well that Klopp needs to close that gap on the personal level as a manager, and um, if he's able to do that, and if they're able to um, sort sort everything else out, then you know eventually they will get to that point where they can say, yeah, we could actually probably go on and win this. I guess the real challenge as well for Liverpool is that if they get their first draw, or first defeat, it's whether or not they, they can, can bounce, bounce back, back yeah. straight away. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for really, because mm. it's all good and well and having this run of form. But if you remember a couple of years ago, Chelsea went on this kind of run of form where they. Um, did really well under uh, Andre Villas Boas, and they, they completely lost it, and he ended up what getting a strange the sack. Appointment that so was. it's like you know, it, it can eventually all turn around. I'm not saying you know, if Liverpool were to lose their form, Klopp's going to get the sack. That's completely outrageous, oh, really, no, to think about at the he's moment. He's one of the last managers to go, I think. But you know, in order for him to reach that next level, that upper echelon of you know, saying yes, you are in probably like the top five of world class managers ever in football history, he needs to get over that barrier because he hasn't done it since really his second season in Dortmund when they won the league. Yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. That. Twenty was it twenty third? No, Bayern Munich won the treble in twenty thirteen. Yeah. But yeah, twenty twelve, I think it was. I think if if Liverpool were to win a cup, whether it be the FA Cup or League Cup or what or not, you know, that will be a good stepping stone. Uh, but I don't think that will be a, a requirement really for Liverpool to go on and to win the Premier League. I don't think they need to go win a win a separate cup in order to to get to that next stage um, because Guardiola didn't do it at City. Um, and of course, you're going to say, oh, but City have got the money and things like that. But Liverpool is spent in the transfer window now as well. Mm. So, you know, they're up there competing. Um, in truth, to be honest, there's really no excuses now for them to not go on and win the Premier League. But at some point on the road, you always think that because of Liverpool's history in past competitions, they're going to slip up eventually at one point. It's just a case of when it comes and how they bounce back from it, as we said. So, mm. so overall, do you think they're favourites for the title, Joe? 
I said before, I think City is still favourites, but I said, come back to it at Christmas. If we're top, then you could maybe argue that we could be favourites, but it's one of those things. I don't want to say anything that's going to come back and bite me. I've, I've done it in the past and <laughs> said things, and, and people have gone, I thought you were gonna, it was your year and all that. Like, um, but I think we've got a good chance. If we continue in this form, like I said, in a, if we get the results against City and Chelsea in the coming weeks, we've got a very good chance of competing for this title.